our group has decided to test games in the side-scrolling platformer genre. The two we looked at were Bubsy the Wooly Strikes Back with a Metacritic score of 44, and Ori in the Blind Forest with a Metacritic score of 88. Those, these two games may share similar genres, how they play and the tasks the players must face are a lot different. Bubsy has level-based gameplay, where the player must reach the goal at the end of the stage to finish it. Meanwhile, Ori has a Metroidvania style, where, like Bubsy, the player has an overall objective in order to make progress in the game. But in Ori, how the player gets there is a lot more open. They could backtrack to old areas, revisit places, and go to different side paths outside the goal. As such, Ori isn't just a level by level like Bubsy is. Both games took verticality into account for their level design, where at times some sections were more spacious than others. Both games incentivize collecting things for the sake of completion or progression, whether it be Bubsy's wool balls for completion of the level, or Ori's collectible upgrades to progress his abilities. That being said, Bubsy's incentives to collect is very poor due to flat level design and just awful feeling of controls throughout the game. Ori has a better quality of life over Bubsy in terms of changing game settings. In order to change the graphical settings in Bubsy, a separate menu opens when you run the game. In this menu, you can change settings and then start the actual game. In order to access this again, you would have to close and reopen the game. Meanwhile, all the graphical settings in Ori are in-game and can be adjusted at any time. Not only is this better for the player, but was really convenient to test. Overall, it is obvious why Ori and the Blind Forest has a better Metacritic score compared to Bugsy the Wooly Strikes Back. Ori has better gameplay, better graphics, and has an overall better experience that Bugsy stumbles on. I get lost in the story of Ori while I grow frustrated with the many issues I encounter when playing Bugsy. In the end, the Metacritic scores that vary so much with games are completely obvious to see why.